finish and Talladega Sting, you know, being close to ending that winless streak? Uh, yeah, I mean, it stinks anytime you run second, obviously. Um, I go into those races and trying to have my hindsight in like 2020, you know, it's like you could get wiped out, you know, and, and no, no fault to your own. And if you finish up towards the front and have a shot at the win, you know, that's a, that's a decent day. It still stinks to run second, but, uh, you know, at least we finished in, a, in an okay spot. And just that's the way those things work out sometimes, just better than uh, on a rollback. Have you and Bubba talked since Sunday? Yeah, we talked about it. And, uh, yeah, we're all good. Was there anything to amend, or are you guys on pretty much on good terms about everything that happened? I hate to disappoint you all, but we're fine. Uh, <laughs> um, I saw him right after the race in the bus lot, and, and, and you know he told me he knew he messed up, and, and it's just one of those things. I mean, it's just uh, that's speedway race. Moving ahead to this race and, you know, refreshing your brain to Dover. How do you look at this one? I think one of the drivers this week said that their eyes flutter when they mm -hmm. hit the bumps here. Do you do you commiserate with that? Yeah, I mean, it's rough. Um, it's weird. It's not, you know, like a super rough racetrack. It's just the, the landing getting in the corner is pretty big, and, and the tire will kind of sometimes get like a basketball effect. Not so much with this car, but with the other car a little bit more. Um, yeah, things just happen so fast here. It kind of takes you a, a few laps to kind of get – back in the rhythm um and kind of your body and your eyes get used to kind of the speeds here so um yeah it's 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 one of those places it's a bristol on steroids and um but it's a fun place and it, it's neat the way it changes um the racing here last year wasn't great i wish we would have done the lower down force deal here but uh, uh we'll see what it is i'm happy we at least get to practice today so that's you're, good you're a fierce competitor but you're also a laid-back guy how do you look at Kyle Larson's crash and what you saw in that? I don't know if you're a guy who would speak up or say, Bones. hey, you know. Uh, no, uh, Kyle Larson, the roll bar on the side when he got the side of the car. Oh, oh yeah. that one. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, um, you know, gosh, I, you know, that's something you don't want to see. Um, I saw stuff on his car and on Priest's car that I didn't really like. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm happy that it wasn't. Uh, he didn't get injured. Um, I know the left sides are more braced up than the rights. So if he would have got hit in the driver's side door, what would have happened? Uh, I don't know. Um, it's one of those things they haven't, you know, we haven't tested those kind of crashes. And if they have, it's been a quarter of the speed, you know. So, uh, yeah, definitely not, not a very good look. But um, it's unfortunate that some of those things have to happen to kind of learn from them. And it's the way things go. Uh, just, you know, luckily no one got injured and, and Ryan's all right. I mean, that was that was one of the roughest in-car cameras I think I've ever watched um, in this deal. So mm -hmm. it's a good thing he walked away all good. And, um, you know, it's one of those learning experiences. What about Bowman's crash then? And, you know, you have raced other forms of racing. How do you look at, gosh, that was a flip, and he's out for a while. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, – I hope it gets better. Um, that's a, obviously a scary incident when you hurt something like that in your back. Um you know, and, and I've seen those wrecks in sprint cars for a while, kind of those kind of flips that does, don't look incredibly violent. It just comes down hard on the on the frame and uh, right under the driver's seat, and that, you know, causes issues. I've seen a lot of guys get really hurt doing that or that, that happening. And, um, you know, hey, there's nothing, you know, you never planned for this stuff. He's, he's trying to get better. He's trying to keep racing, and, and wrecks happen. It's just one of those freak things that it, it kind of came down wrong, and, and hopefully he gets uh, – gets better soon that's really all you can hope for yeah do you have any hesitation of racing other forms of racing or do you carefully check what you do gosh i haven't really raced anything different in a long time uh yeah. did that srx race last year but uh, it's a little bit different than, than the sprint car stuff and um yeah i just uh i don't only really think about that stuff much because it's not really on the table for me to do very much yeah and you probably love just concentrating on your day job I mean, I, I'd race every day of the week if I could. Um, you know, as a racer and a competitor, that's what you want to do. You want to do, you know, your your job all the time and kind of get better at, at different, you know, forms of motorsport. Um, but, yeah, just uh, this is obviously the main focus. But, honestly, I think running, you know, other forms of racing and, and cars all the time, it, it keeps your mind and body kind of in that mode, you know. And um, But, like you said, you, things things can't happen when, when you do that. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.